stand and join us for the U.S. Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Now for our Tiger Pledge. Today, I will try my best, imagine my possibilities, and give respect. I will be eager to learn, realize my worth, and smile every day. Now let's say our guidelines for success together. Focus. Focus on the positive. Intent. Practice positive intent. Safety. Keep it safe. Helpfulness. Be helpful to others. Encouragement. You can do it. Respect. Show respect to others and myself. And now for a moment of silence. Okay, everybody, it's time for the school family song. You are my family, my school family. I feel happy when you are here. I hope you know, friends, how much I love you. When we're apart, I'll keep you near on Espanol. Un familia somos en la escuela. Estoy feliz cuando están aquí. Quiero decirles cuánto los quiero. Cuando no están, los llevo aquí. Okay, my friends, now it's time to wish well. So, look around the classroom. And see when your school family's not here today. Let's put them in our hearts and let's wish them well. We wish you well. We wish you well. All through the day today. We wish you well. Te deseamos lo mejor. Te deseamos lo mejor. Todo el día de hoy. Te deseamos lo mejor. And then send out all your love and well wishes. Hi, Fisher students and families. This is Miss Reba here. And I am I'm going to talk about the yearbook. So, our yearbook is um, designed already this year. The cost per book is $25. Hola, soy Miss de la Fuente y vamos a hablar sobre el yearbook de la escuela. El yearbook va a costar $25. And in school sales, they close on Friday, March 8th, 2024. And the online sales, they continue on through Friday, March 15th, 2024. Las ventas de la escuela se van a hacer el viernes, marzo 8, 2024. Y las ventas en línea se van a cerrar el viernes, marzo 15, 2024. And if you lost your yearbook form, we do have extra copies here at school. But if you have a printer at home and you want to print it out, you just go to Peach Jar. And right here is you just click on this and you can print out the school book order form at your home if you choose to. Si perdiste tu forma, puedes ir a la link que está en Peach Jar. Y aquí puedes encontrar la forma y la puedes imprimir, firmarla y la puedes traer a la escuela. And the yearbook is just a really great way to remember the year's events, all the different activities um, that we have throughout the year at Fisher. El yearbook es una buena idea para recordar todos los eventos, las actividades, tus amigos y tus maestras que tuviste en el año escolar. Es una buena forma para que tengas memorias todos los años. 
And if you have any questions at all, you're welcome to contact the front office or contact myself, and we'll be certainly able to help you out with your question. Si tienes unas preguntas, puedes llamar a la oficina o puedes hablar con Ms. Riva y ella te va a contestar todas sus preguntas que tengas sobre el yearbook. All right. Well, thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye. Bye. Fisher Tigers, this is Coach Budden with the PE announcements for the week of March 4th through March 8th. So this is our third and final week of striking and fielding. You guys have been doing really well. I've been seeing a lot of improvement and we're going to continue this week to get better at our striking and fielding skills. For our events to know, this Friday is the color run. So if you signed up and paid and had all that confirmed, this Friday, you will be having lots of fun at the Color Run, and we can't wait to see you there. Next week is spring break, so I go, hope you guys have a great restful break. Make sure you stay active, have a lot of fun, and make sure you come back in good shape so that we continue can continue doing all the things we've been learning in PE. And then March 23rd is Get Fit Jog. So for my third and fourth graders, get practicing for that. It's coming soon. If you want to be one of those top finishers, make sure that you're using jog club days and jog days during PE class and even at home practicing jogging. That's going to really help you get ready for the Get Fit Jog event. On our next slides, we have our top 10 runners in each grade level from last week's jog day. Check it out to see if your name is on the list. Here are our top 10 first and second grade runners. And here are our top 10 third and fourth grade runners. All right, that's all from me. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Whole Child Learners of the Month. Students that show outstanding behavior and understanding of the Whole Child Learning of the Month. These are Whole Child highlights for the month of December and January. Students who have exhibited self-management by following rules, being good citizens with their computer devices, showing empathy, understanding integrity, and showing responsibility. And for Miss Cole's class in pre-kindergarten, we have Avery and Jacob. Congratulations for being the whole child learners of the month. And now for kindergarten for Miss Polina's class, we have Noah who uses his breathing strategies to relax and keep going. And Allison, Allison works hard to make good choices and follow our class rules. Way to go guys. And in Miss Cantu's class, we have Alani and Leonardo. They are great at showing their responsibility and following classroom rules. Way to go. And in second grade, in Miss C. Garcia's room, we have Yamalet and Josue. They respect other people's opinions. They make good decisions in school-wide settings, as in the hallway, restrooms, cafeteria, etc. Way to go in being the whole child learners of the month this month. And for third grade, we have Adan and Ella. These are two empathetic kids who show great responsibility in the cafeteria and the hallways and all the way through the school building. Way to go guys and doing your best every single day. 
And from Y. Guerra's class in fourth grade, we have Mirla and Mateo. They are the Whole Child Learners of the Month for December and January. They show great self-management every single day. And congratulations to all these students for being positively great students at self-management. Relax and take a great big breath. Imaginary hugs and peaceful place. What does it feel like to hug someone you care about? Is there someone you'd like to hug who isn't in the same room with you? Let's try giving them an imaginary hug. To begin, sit with your back straight and your body relaxed, with your hands on your knees. If you'd like, you can close your eyes, but it's okay if you leave them open. And take a few deep breaths. Imagine a peaceful place that you'd like to visit with friends and family. It can be a place you know, like your backyard, or a place from your memory, like a trip to the ocean. It can also be an imaginary place, like the hundred acre wood from Winnie the Pooh. And just take a moment and let that peaceful place come to your mind. Picture yourself standing in this place. What do you see when you look up, down, and all around? Can you see the sky and some trees? Maybe you see some birds or a boat. What do you hear? Take a moment to imagine all of the sounds in this calm and peaceful place. Maybe it's the sound of friends laughing or birds chirping in a tree. What do you smell? It might be the smell of fresh air or something baking in the oven. What do you feel? Maybe you feel cool grass under your toes or warm, cozy slippers. What do you feel on your cheeks? A cool breeze or the warm sun? Now give yourself a big hug and a friendly wish. Silently say something like, I hope I have a great day. You can say this wish or choose any other wish you like and say it silently in your own words. Next, try giving someone you love an imaginary hug. Reach out your arms and pretend you're giving him or her a hug. And imagine that you're hugging each other, they're smiling, and say something like, I hope you're happy and have a great day too. I hope you have what you need. Now open your eyes and stretch your arms up high when you breathe in. And when you breathe out, relax your shoulders and lower your arms. You did it. Peace out.